Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we're going to look at a rather interesting device, the B-Link GT King 2. It's a TV box type device that has this 8-core AmLogic chip, which can go up to 2.2 GHz on each core. The device also has 8 GB of RAM, Gigabit LAN, Bluetooth 5, and supposedly faster storage compared to the previous model. It's a device that has a high price tag, around $250 and its link is in the description here of the video, so it has to perform well, in this case, in games. I have to say that it can do well on PSP and even PlayStation 2, so we'll be checking that out. To support powerful hardware, its power supply has to be powerful, so this power supply has 12 volts, 2 amps, and 24 watts of power. It's a very robust power supply. We also have the HDMI cable, a strong, sturdy HDMI cable, plus a remote control and manual, as is standard on almost all of this range. When you turn this box on, the skull's eye turns red and then turns green. Here are more details of the box, showing the difference between the previous version and this new one in terms of RAM, storage, and processing speed. So guys, this is the screen of this device, this new one, and it's the same as the previous version, this same interface. Now what's changed is the hardware Android is 11, there are improvements in this box, superior to its previous version. Now an apparent problem here that can occur is its high temperature when running, depending on the local temperature. As the hardware is powerful, it can get very hot when running heavy games, so you might want to get an external cooler. For normal use, for example here, I'm going to open YouTube, YouTube opens quickly normally. There's no mystery, if I click on it, it will open quickly, clicked, opened. There will be advertising, but it's just to show you that it opens very quickly. They all open advertising. So YouTube doesn't have much to show on video because it works very well on video. The ideal of this box, for those who want a box of this price, I wouldn't expect anything less. Now for those who want to play games, we'll show you, as I said, PSP, Dreamcast, among other game tests, old games, retro games that require a better processor. So now I'm going to show you the tests that were done. Let's see now, starting with the Dreamcast and Atomus Wave. For those who don't know, Atomus Wave is an arcade machine developed by Sammy Corporation and launched in the year 2003. The system is based on Sega's Dreamcast console, sharing much of its hardware. So in this case, it's using the Vulkan API, and these Dreamcast games should run at 60 FPS for the most part. Here in this game, scenes with water would normally be a little slow, but here we're seeing that the game looks beautiful and doesn't lose performance in Soul Calibur. Now, if you'll allow me, I'll keep quiet for a few seconds to show you all the games tested here, nearly 10 of them, and I can already tell you that in the games Le Mans 24 Hours, Virtua Tennis 2 and Metal Slug 6, the FPS is usually below 35 FPS, the other games at 60 FPS. I'll shut up now and come back. Love 15. Game Davenport. This victory strengthens the soul of Mission D. Yep.
Well, I think it did well on the Dreamcast, so let's move on to the PSP games, and I'll tell you right now that it's capable of doing well because it has a GPU with four processing cores. And in general, the vast majority of games will run at 60 FP, and others that are a little heavier will be between 30 and 40 FP. So yes, it does a good job here, not to mention that the resolution is high, so this box has done a great job. So now I'm going to shut up and play the games I've tested so you can see how it looks, and I'll be back to talk about the PlayStation 2. Quindici pari. So let's talk about the PlayStation 2. Yes, it's possible here, right? But come on, I want to talk about a few things. The emulator here is the well-known Aether SX2, and to be honest, it works, but many games are slow, so there are also some compatibility problems here. In summary, God of War runs reasonably well, Gradius V is smooth, Resident Evil is a bit slow, and Tomb Raider 2, slow I'm talking about 30 FPS or a bit below, but let's agree for this type of box, I think it's enough. Well folks, now I'm going to leave the performance on the PlayStation 2 for those who are interested, and I'll say goodbye to you. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and see you in the next video.